I think you could write it in large capital letters uh, on a postage stamp, what I knew about gout. The level of pain um, and the length of time that it persists, it's the length of that, that, that time, the level of pain is excruciating. It's the worst pain I've ever experienced. You don't want to even be prodded by a little wisp of wind because even a wisp of wind on your hairs on your arm near an infected area is pain, more pain. So you just want the world to stop. It's debilitating. It 100% uh, takes over everything. I got to the point where I was really struggling uh, mentally. Um, I was in quite a dark place. Uh, I was a, um, trying to find ways to manage this and, and, and deal with it and failed miserably. Um, we're still going to the GP on a regular basis. Wasn't really getting sort of, and I thought, well, that's it. They, they, there's nothing they can do for me, medical side. I was on the correct medication, allopurinol, but I wasn't, my dosage wasn't a, um, managed or maintained. I was on a um, 100 milligrams, um, which was, quite simply not enough, not a high level of dosage for my particular um, circumstances. Then started to do a little bit more research work and, and looking at nationally, and then found out that there was a, a, a programme at the city hospital and from that a, it was then, yes, they would have taken me on to the programme, but within that hour with the, the press doc T and the preceding appointments with Wendy, became much more informed, much more knowledgeable about the condition. Uh, because again, I thought it was something I was doing wrong, I'd done wrong, um, and it, it simply wasn't. It's a, an ongoing treatment process. It's not a quick fix, one bam, thank you, mummy, you go, here's your medication, you don't need to see me ever again. You need to keep that, so that uric acid level needs to be, Keep getting tested, you need to make sure you're on the right level of a uh, allopurinol. You know, and here I am now, sort of, I'm 62 years old, it's, you know, it's a good nearly 15 years on. Um, the dark days of thinking about committing suicide to where I am now is a totally different planet. Um, and you, you totally get your life back. You know, and for me, it, it, I, still, I still struggle that it's just such a simple message that we, we, we can't seem to get that out there, um, that people don't need to suffer that level of pain uh, and the impact on, on their lives, their loved ones, their partners, whatever, their family, their work, work-life balance, etc. It, it's about carrying that mantle and getting that message across and becoming involved because it's about curing the patient. That's what you've got to look at and that's what the focus should be about curing the patient.